just got real. So, gold's kind of a stretch. Let's not kid ourselves. Don't feel bad, Rainbow Dash. We have absolutely no shot at winning gold either. Uh, that's because you're carrying the flag for Ponyville in the opening ceremony. There are no winners. Winners or not, we still have the chance to be awesome. That's the spirit. You hear that, every pony? Winners or not, we all still have the chance to be awesome. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's still try to win lots and lots of stuff, too, okay? My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Gang. Leave it to Spike, champion gear carrier for all your gear carrying needs. And the Ponyville flag? You sure? And what about the flight pole? In with a portable ramp. Whoa. Give it a rest, Apple Bloom. Nah, she's just nervous, that's all. Perfectly understandable. Whenever I'm afraid I'll forget something and I start to panic, I have a simple trick. I count to ten, and by the time I'm done, I've calmed myself enough to get the job done right every time. Easy peasy cider squeezy. Hey! Put me down! What's going on? Spike, are you all right? A thousand pardons, O oh great and honorable Spike, the brave and glorious. Huh? Who the what now? Thanks for bringing Spike to us. It's okay, Spike. We'll have our hoof ponies go back for your bags. Uh, can they hang back a second? Tell me what's going on first. So the ponies here think I'm some kind of hero, huh? More of the green ones, please? I like the green ones. Last time you were here, you got the crystal heart to Princess Cadence in time to save this entire empire from destruction. You are known throughout my empire as great and honorable, Spike the Brave and Glorious. Isn't that awesome? You're a big shot here, Spike. See that? That's you! Hello, gorgeous. This is why we all hope you'd do us the honor of lighting the torch at the opening ceremony. You'd be the very first dragon in the history of the Equestria Games to do so. Of course I'll do it! And, bonus, I can do it with my fire breath! Places for the procession, everybody! Two minutes!
And you're quite certain you also understand exactly what you're supposed to do? I stand where you tell me until you give me the signal, and then I walk over and light the torch. Hmm. Couldn't be simpler. Dragon, are you coming? Oh, honestly, would some pony help him walk? Now, please welcome the delegation from Ponyville! Ponyville forever! Yay! Awesome! Mm. Yeah! Yeah! Would you like the torch already? I don't know what it is, but I just don't have the stuff today. Did you bring a match? You're a fire-breathing dragon. <coughs> then some cough drops, maybe? Never mind. I'll keep trying. <gasps> some pony, go down and help him! Light! Light! <sighs> Phew. Oh. How did you do that? I'm not sure. Oh well, <laughs> better late than never. Let the games begin! Made me sit up proud like a cornstalk in August. You done good, Squirt. You three really were wonderful. But does any pony know what was going on with Spike? He sure seemed to be having a tough time of it out there. He put things right in time, though. Actually, it was me. I didn't want him to be embarrassed. So I cast a secret spell to light it for him. Oh, dear. Have you told him? No, but he might have figured it out on his own. You gotta tell him just in case. I know. I'm just afraid of how he'll take it. I know what pride he takes in a job well done. Psst, here he comes now. Act casual. Sup? Spike, is everything okay? I guess. I don't know. The weirdest thing happened down there. Yeah, about that. I... I mean, there I was, trying to light the torch with all of Equestria watching and feeling like the hugest failure ever, and then the thing just lit. It was amazing. Oh, phew. I was afraid you'd be upset. Upset? Are you kidding? Why would I be upset to discover I can light fire with my mind? What? Look, look, it's the great and honorable Spike the Brave and Glorious. Can we get your autograph? Sure. How you saved our empire last time you were here was really amazing. Ta. you know what else is amazing? 
Watch this. Don't worry. Once it bursts into flames through brain power, I'll sign another one for you. Promise. Spike, may I have a word with you a moment? Uh, you better be careful with that. I might burst into flames later. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Hey, Twy, what is it? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. If I can set fire to step with my mind, mind reading must be just around the corner. And I predict that you are about to ask me to set fire to something with my mind! No, because you can't. Oh, really? So how do you explain what happened down there in front of thousands and thousands of... I did it, Spike. I cast a spell to do it for you. In front of thousands and thousands? I'm sorry, Spike. I just couldn't stand to see you stuck like that. You understand, don't you? I... Uh, I need to be alone right now. Spike? Oh, great and honorable Spike the Brave and Glorious. Can I get your autograph? Sorry. You should probably ask somebody special instead. Our next event, the Aerial Relay! That's Dash and Fluttershy! Oh no! We can't be late for that! Miss, step right over here. Unicorns will no longer be admitted without a disabling spell. To prevent cheating. And make sure you don't even try casting a spell or we'll know it. Something really worthy of the Crystal Empire's admiration? What are you talking about? You lit the torch for the whole thing! Uh, well, actually, that wasn't really... That wasn't worthy enough for you? Ugh, for pony's sake. Next thing you know, you'll be asking to put on a rock concert. Oh, celebrities. Wait, that's it! <laughs> Congratulations to all our medalists. And now, the anthem of... And I shall do the honor of singing! Spike, what are you doing? You know how they always just play the music? Well, I know all the words to our anthem, and we'll sing them for you now, loud and proud, to the enjoyment of all! And now... Um, the Cloudsdale Anthem, as sung by... Spike! Wait! The Cloudsdale Anthem? They only play the anthem for the winner, Spike. The Wonderbolts are from Cloudsdale. But... but I don't know the words to the Cloudsdale Anthem. I've never even heard it! We're the Wonderbolts, and we're super fast, and we're from Cloudsdale, which is a part of Equestria <laughs> that we like best, and we're proud, and we're fast, and we like it because it really has nice trees. Yeah, we love the town because it's so cool, and, and we like to fly really fast, and everything like that. Uh, I kind of wish this was over, because it isn't yet over now. Oh. We're the Wonderbolts and we're super fast And we're Cloud from Cloudsdale We like it there cause it's really nice And the trees are cool and I hope this is over now And it keeps going on la 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 And we really love the town So I wish that this song was over now Over 
now. Over now. Spot, you coming? Nah, I got this stuff to pack up. But you've been moping in here for almost the entire games. And tonight's the closing ceremony. Which means we leave tomorrow. Ergo, the packing. And so the games conclude as they always do. With the Ice Archery Finals! Ice Archers, take your places! Too bad Ponyville doesn't have any Ice Archers competing. We don't have anyone to root for. It's okay. Ponyville has 37 medals and Cloudsdale 36. So looks like we'll be medal champs in the games anyway! Woohoo! But Cloudsdale has two Ice Archery finalists down there right now! If they both place, Cloudsdale wins the medal count! So you're saying it all comes down to this one event? Pretty much. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Twilight! Come take this extra seat next to me and freak out over the medal count! I'll show you how. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Actually, I was looking for Spike. Have you seen him? He wouldn't come. We tried to talk him into it, but he wouldn't listen. You can have his extra seat, though. Uh, uh Twilight? Spike? <gasps> you here? <laughs> uh, yeah! Uh, I'm super busy! Look at all this packing left to do! Crazy, right? No more hiding out! You're coming with me. Now. Okay, fine. I'll come. Can I at least wear these? <laughs> your average arrows. They freeze whatever part of the target they hit. Whoever encases their entire targeted ice first wins. Keep your eye on number seven from Cloud's. He's the favorite. Honestly, Spike, I don't see why you're being so hard on yourself. I let every pony down. Twice. You never let any pony down, so you have no idea what that's like. Are you kidding? I've totally let ponies down. That's not the point. The torch got lit, the aerial relay teams got their medals. No harm, no foul. Can we at least watch from inside there? I'm not sure I'm ready to face crowds in the stands just yet. to thank you personally for saving those ponies and the games, oh great and honorable Spike the Brave and Glorious. You must be very proud. I guess. You guess? I just saw what needed to be done and reacted. It just so happens I can breathe fire, and if any of you could do that, you'd have done the same. Forgive me for being blunt, Spike, but you're not making a lick of sense. Well, it's just how I feel. Wait a second. I think I get it. You keep saying you let every pony down, but we all keep saying you didn't. You know who was disappointed in you, Spike? You. And only you can make it right with you again. What would that take, Spike? Eh, I don't know. Can you turn back time? Because I'd sure like a do-over on that opening ceremony. We can't turn back time. 
But would you do me the great honor of lighting fireworks in my place at the closing ceremonies tonight? Come on, Spike. You saved the Crystal Empire. Twice. I think you can light some fireworks. Hmm, I guess I have to at least give it a shot. <laughs> we did it! Ponyville won the medal count! And only by one medal! Hmm, wonder which medal that was! Bam! How's it feel to have opened the best equestria games in Ponyville history, Squirt? Probably as good as it feels to close them. Okay, it's time. You know, it's kind of weird. No matter how many times others tell you you're great, all the praise in the world means nothing if you don't feel it inside. Sometimes to feel good about yourself, you've got to let go of the past. That way, when the time comes to let your greatness fly, you'll be able to light up the whole sky.